Why are sunsets so colourful and why is the sky blue most of the rest of the time? Let's talk about light. Light travels in waves. Each wave has a wavelength or the distance between two crests in a wave. There are so many different wavelengths of light. Not all of them we can see, but we call that what we can see visible light or light from the visible spectrum. All the colours of the rainbow are pretty well the colours that we can see. Red light has a longer wavelength, so the distance between waves is greater than violet light, which has a much shorter wavelength. If we extend the wavelength beyond red, we get infrared light. We can use it for certain things, but we can't detect it with our eyes. If we shorten the wavelength shorter than violet, we get ultraviolet light. And it's due to all these wavelengths that we can see colour in the sky. There's a huge range of light that is emitted by the sun. White light is made up of a whole range of wavelengths of light. But light can be bent, bounced, refracted, reflected. Let's examine it. The sky on a clear day is blue. But why is that? There's nothing up there that's actually blue. We don't pass through a blue barrier and then get into space. So what's causing it to be blue? Well, it's due to our atmosphere. Our atmosphere isn't really visible. It's made of gas after all. But there's a lot of gas in our atmosphere. There are gas molecules making up the gases in our atmosphere. They are extremely small, microscopic, invisible, but they are still there. Because there's heaps of gas in our atmosphere, when sunlight goes through it, some of it gets caught and refracts or changes direction. It bounces around the molecules in the atmosphere. Waves of light with shorter wavelengths get bounced around more here because the wave is waving more rapidly. So shorter wavelengths get bounced around and as it gets bounced around and because there's enough of it bouncing around, we can see the light. White light gets sent from the sun, it arrives in our atmosphere where some of the blue light hits molecules in our atmosphere which causes the waves to bounce around and we can see blue. Which is why the sky is blue during the day. But what about sunrise and sunset where we start getting yellows, oranges and reds? Well it's also a refraction thing. Because we live on a globe, the angle that the light is travelling changes as the day goes on. When the sun is lower in the sky, from our perspective, the light has more atmosphere to travel through in order to get to us. It's a bit like the blue light is filtered out earlier and the longer wavelengths of light begin to be seen refracting as well because there's more atmosphere for it to travel through. The sky goes from a blue to a yellow, orange, then red. There are also other things in the atmosphere, dust, pollution, and other particles which might be hanging out closer to the surface of Earth, which also causes the light to refract. And because we've mostly got longer wavelengths left in the sky, we see those oranges and reds. That's pretty cool. So we get the colors of our sky due to light refracting or bouncing around gas molecules in our atmosphere. When the sun is high, it has less air to travel through, so it appears blue. When it's low in the sky, there's more air for it to travel through, meaning different wavelengths of light bounce around so that we can see them, turning the sky yellow, orange and red. We have colours in our sky due to our atmosphere. What a wonderful thing. If you enjoyed watching the sunsets in this video, I actually have a channel that you might like. It's called Time Elapse, and it's a collection of countdown timers paired with time lapse captures. I have ice melting, candles burning, and yes, sunsets. I use it in my classroom as a countdown timer, but I've also heard of people using them to help them track their work or study times, cleaning and housework, or just being mindful. There's a link in the description if you'd like to check it out. And that's where I'll leave it today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you gained a deeper appreciation for the world around us. If you enjoyed it, I'd love to know with the like button and in the comments below. I also invite you to subscribe to That's Pretty Cool for more videos on topics 
that inspire in me a sense of curiosity and wonder. Thanks again so much for watching. Take care, stay curious, and I will see you next time.